Today we are looking at essay writing as part of our series on functional English. So let's have a look. So when we discuss essay writing, as a broader overview, what we want to understand is the structure of the essay. So when we discuss the structure of the essay, the very first thing that comes in our mind is the introduction, which is very traditional that we have to open essay with an introduction. And this is also known as thesis statement. So we also call the introduction of an essay as thesis statement. And once we have written the essay's introduction, we have to write the body. And perhaps body of the essay is one of the trickiest parts. And of course, after writing the body, we have to write something called conclusion. So apparently, when we are writing an essay, and this essay is for your exams about 200 to 250 words. That's the word limit that we are looking at, and it will spread over two to three pages, if that. So, if you have managed to compose a good, powerful thesis statement which is enchanting or captivating to the audience, we want to work on the body of the essay. And when we discuss the body, we want to understand the body of the essay for a word limit of 200 to 250 might comprise three paragraphs. So, apart from the introduction, that's one paragraph, we will have three paragraphs as a body and one conclusion. So, we are looking at five paragraphs in total, five paragraphs. That's the essay we are aiming to write. So, when we discuss the body of the essay, we want to understand paragraph itself has a structure. So, how do we structure our paragraph and that's something we want to look at. So, ideally, a paragraph will have a topic sentence. So the very first thing that we want to look at is the topic sentence of a paragraph. Okay? And then we have supporting details. And then we have conclusion. So while we are writing the paragraph for the essay, we want to pick something called topic sentence which will reflect on the topic that we are going to discuss in, the essay, in that paragraph. Then supporting details through a three liners and then conclusion. So using an analogy if I talk about a burger, a burger has an upper bun and that could be the upper slice of the bread that's called topic sentence plus controlling idea. And you'll get it what controlling idea and topic sentence are and supporting details are the sentences three to four sentences or two or three sentences that will lead to the conclusion of the essay of this rather this paragraph that we are discussing so our idea is to maintain something called coherence when we are writing the paragraphs of the essay we are focused on coherence and unity how do we do that? That's a question. So if I was to just remove all this part and see how I can create a paragraph on essay and how can I write a thesis statement and how I can sort of like uh, create unity and coherence in the paragraph, I need some tools for that. I need some tools and techniques and that's something I'll be discussing along when I get along with the essay. So let's remove this part. And let's try and begin, utilize this space. I understand it's not much of a space. So I'll pretend as if like the very first liner is the thesis statement. And uh, let's talk about the, uh, say, uh, the COP29 summit. COP29 summit, that's the World Environment Summit taking place in Azerbaijan right now with the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Shahbaz Sharif, is also on a visit. So, let's talk about significance of significance of COP29 summit. How can we write it? I mean, that's the question. So, if we were to write an essay on CO significance of COP29 summit, and we want to open the, you know, thesis statement. What, what can I write? 
So I can write say with the let me just okay with the relentless rise in temperature the COP 29 summit can be viewed as a beacon of hope for the world that is faced with extreme weather conditions food insecurity and weather conditions food insecurity and what else the world is going through and uh, other conditions and calamities and natural calamities natural calamities so off the top of my head I have come up with something called with the relentless rise in temperature temperature the COP 29 summit can be viewed as a beacon of hope not home hope hope for the planet or for the world for the world, of course, there should be a da here. Let me put a small da here for you guys. For the world that is faced with extreme weather conditions, food insecurity, and natural calamities. Now, this is the thesis statement. I mean, that's the very first draft that I've created. So I can, of course, improve it. So the effective thesis statement is the one that sort of like attracts the attention of the readers. So I'm hoping that this one is uh, impactful enough. But the whole idea right now is to just tell you how the paragraph works. So, so I've created this one and I want to write something about each of the topics. So if you see, I was discussing topic sentence. So this is my first topic sentence for the first paragraph. My second topic sentence is food insecurity. And the third one would be natural calamities. So when I'm writing my paragraphs, I want to utilize all these topics, so e one by one. So if I was to start with extreme weather conditions, I would be starting like the extreme weather patterns have become a new normal okay that's my first sentence so this is the analogy using as if I compare it with the burger this is the first bread or upper part of the burger and then I have to write some supporting details so the extreme weather conditions the extreme weather patterns have become a new normal for the world Okay, I mean the countries like Pakistan has or have suffered super flood. I have experienced rather experienced super floods in 2023 so I'm not writing with uh, you know unity and cohesiveness right now I'm just writing in general with da 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 and then I'll try and improve it how I can utilize the techniques that I have so the countries like Pakistan have experienced super floods in 2022 okay um, the, I'll just write another sentence. The 
country is one of the most vulnerable when it comes to climate change okay so i'm just making it up so three sentences i have to write five sentences the very first sentence is the topic sentence with the controlling idea okay and of course our topic here is extreme weather conditions and controlling idea i haven't put here so extreme weather conditions have become a new normal for the world say maybe controlling idea is our world okay so now i want to put another sentence here that can uh, two more sentences to complete my paragraph so if i was to write two more sentences uh, i have utilized this one uh, but the country uh, is, is still okay does not have climate resilient infrastructure so I have put four sentences here now I want to put the last sentence as the conclusion of this paragraph because uh, when we discuss the paragraph we have discussed there is a topic sentence there is supporting details and there is a conclusion so our topic sentence is the first sentence then we have supporting details three sentences and then conclusion so how do we conclude in summary or all in all evidently I would put evidently the country will suffer suffer for years to come because of climate change because of climate change okay so I have randomly written this paragraph how can I improve this paragraph now I understand this paragraph is about Pakistan and it's about weather patterns so there is unity first thing that we see there is coherence I'm talking about Pakistan and weather conditions I'm not talking about anything else so I do see there is some kind of coherence and unity this paragraph does not have any sentence that affects the unity of this paragraph uh, a sentence that is out of the context that does not fit in is the sentence that is out of the that can affect the unity of the paragraph so if I was to start writing something here Pakistan uh, is one of the growing countries and its economy is struggling we are not talking about this economy right now we are talking about the uh, the weather conditions the patterns right now so in order to make it cohesive or uh, you know in order to maintain the unity I have written everything that is related to the weather conditions so first thing we want to look at coherence and unity which we have here we want to see the structure we have topic sentence we have supporting details three three sentences and then we have a conclusion but it is not cohesive it is not cohesive right now so we want to utilize something called cohesive devices and that's something I want to show you so what do we want to do we want to write something called cohesive devices okay so cohesive devices are the devices first one is called item in series an item in series is like firstly secondly additionally and of course moreover so whenever you open the paragraph the very first liner 
you can utilize one of these. So if it is the first paragraph, you can utilize firstly, if it is the second one, secondly, if it is the third one, furthermore, or moreover. So I want to start this one with firstly. And I want to change the uppercase to lowercase. Firstly, the extreme weather patterns have become a new normal for the world. Now there is a transition. If I was to read my thesis statement and jump onto the very first paragraph, there was a jump. Now because of firstly, because of this transition, this transitional sentence, which is the first sentence, have become more smoother. There is a soft landing. So firstly, the extreme weather conditions have become a new normal. So we just want to make sure they are all left aligned. I'm so sorry that it is not uh, on one alignment. So apologies for that because I'm writing. now. Apart from item and series, we do have the second one. This is called illustration. That is another cohesive device. Illustrations in which we can say, for example, or what can I say uh, uh, to exemplify or I'll, I'll have a look, quick look on, for instance, okay, there's a list that I have which I can share with you guys and I can upload the PowerPoint underneath this lecture. Or to illustrate, namely, in other words, these are the illustrations that we can utilize. So if you see, after the very first sentence, for firstly, the extreme weather conditions have become a new normal for the world. For example, for example, here. For example, Countries like Pakistan have experienced super floods in 2002, okay? And then we want to use the third one that is called opposing view or result or cause. First one is result or cause. Now when we discuss the result or cause, we want to discuss consequently, therefore, Okay, or we can say hence or so. So there's a whole list of these cohesive devices. So if you see, I can write consequently the country is one of the most, has become one of the most. So I just want to sort of like modify a bit. I want to put consequently here. Consequently. And I want to change the case to lowercase. The country has become one of the most vulnerable when it comes to climate change. So just see, I'm applying these cohesive devices into my paragraph and it is sort of like making sure not only does it have the unity and coherence, it is also becoming more effective when I'm reading it. Opposing view. What do we have in opposing view? We have but, yet, however, and on the contrary, nevertheless. So these are the words that I can use. So on the contrary, okay? So if I was to say to climate change, but the country does not have climate resistant infrastructure. Okay, consequently the country has become, however, yet, I will put yet, because yet makes sense, yet the country does not have climate resilient infrastructure. So how beautiful it is becoming now. Firstly, the extreme weather patterns have become a new normal for the world. For example, countries like Pakistan have experienced super floods in 2022. Consequently, the country has become one of the most vulnerable when it comes to climate change, yet the country does not have any climate resilient infrastructure, climate resilient infrastructure. The very last one is called summary and conclusion. So there are five cohesive devices, summary or conclusion. So when we discuss summary or conclusion, what we want to understand uh, that summary and conclusion Sorry about this, it's a bit too warm in here. So when we discuss summary and conclusion, we have words like finally, in conclusion, okay? And we have words like to sum up, 
to sum up yeah to sum up so now if I was to go and evidently is also one of the words if you can see that I have put here so I have put evidently the country will suffer will continue to suffer for years to come because of climate change so let's rewrite this one again evidently I'm so sorry in this very less space here evidently the country is bound to suffer for years to come because of the climate climate change okay now now we understand everything about this essay so we started off with the introduction and we had a look at yes the body of the essay will have intro and there will be three paragraphs if we are writing essay of 200 250 words and there will be a conclusion so that's our very first paragraph very first paragraph has got all the cohesive devices I've applied all the five cohesive devices and we see the very first sentence is the transitional sentence of course apart from the cohesive devices what I have used here we also wanna make sure that we use synonyms we do not stick to one word we use pronoun we use keywords we use transitions and we use transitional sentence transitional sentence so the very first sentence is our transitional sentence okay for example is our transition consequently is our transition keywords of course we have got keywords like climate change okay and we have got resilient climate resilient infrastructure so I cannot replace climate resilient to anything else so that's our keyword okay and of course pronoun in, in instead of Pakistan I have used the country if I was to use Pakistan 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 it will uh, sound a bit odd in the paragraph you want to replace the you know noun with pronouns so you cannot just say Sir Farhan Sir Farhan Sir Farhan you can say mentor you can say he or you can say our guide something to replace and synonyms if you see I have used climate change at one place and I have tried to use weather patterns so weather pattern is the synonym for the climate or the climate change because of the climate change so I've utilized all the cohesive devices along with the transition and connectives into this paragraph to make it cohesive to make it more coherent and to ensure that there's unity in the paragraph so it is fluent and singing now compared with the very first paragraph that I wrote without the cohesive devices so you want to apply all these things you want to apply the synonyms you want to apply the pronouns you want to and of course you want to make sure that there is a topic sentence and controlling idea so the controlling idea in this paragraph was the uh, new normal and topic sentence was extreme weather conditions and you will pick all these um, you know topics from the uh, thesis statement that you will create at the first place and how do we write the conclusion so I'm uh, assuming or I'm pretending as if I've written the second and third paragraph on the topic of climate change and food insecurity if you wanna start writing on few food insecurity you can write one paragraph so if I was to start the second paragraph I would start like secondly the climate change is adversely affecting the food security all over the world secondly the climate change is affecting the food security all over the world excuse me so if I was to utilize one of the cohesive devices like illustration uh, 
for, for example, I've already used for instance, for instance, the heavy, heavy rains, the torrential rains, torrential rains and flooding have destroyed millions of acres of standing crops across the world. So I have managed to utilize two cohesive devices, secondly and for instance. Now I know use result and cause. So therefore I can use therefore here or as a result or because uh, therefore the food shortage is becoming more pronounced with the changing weather conditions. Okay, so I cannot write anything about health here because we are discussing the food insecurity. You can use a bit of an element, but you cannot utilize the word like uh, health uh, indicators because it will affect the unity of the paragraph. Opposing viewpoint in which we can use nevertheless, however, on the contrary, in contrast, is still, I will use is still, is still, there is hope that the world leaders will make coordinated efforts to ensure food security. And I'm just writing off the top of my head. Of course, it can be rewritten, it can be paraphrased, and we can come up with a better version of what I have written here. And the very last one we have got is conclusion. All in all, in brief, evidently, actually, finally, in fact, in fact, the COP29 summit, and I'm relating it to the topic, is one such initiative initiative that can avert the risk of food insecurity that's my second paragraph yeah Similarly, I'll write the third paragraph starting with additionally or moreover utilizing the transition or the cohesive device. And then we write the, the conclusion. And how do we write the conclusion? We just rewrite the thesis statement. We paraphrase the thesis statement. So I do not recall exactly what thesis statement I had written, but it was about with the rise in temperature, the COP summit is one of the beacons of hope for the world. So if I write the conclusion, I can say that uh, the outcome of the COP29 summit will certainly pave way for such <clears throat> environment friendly initiatives that can give hope to the people and promise a better world for our for everyone 
So I have just rewritten the thesis statement and that's the conclusion that I've come up with. So we want to understand an ideal essay of 200 250 words should comprise five uh, paragraphs. First is the thesis statement or the introduction. Then comes the uh, body of the paragraph, supporting details, and then the conclusion. And each paragraph, as we discuss uh, when we are discussing the paragraph individually, there should be a topic sentence and the controlling idea. There should be supporting details and there should be conclusion. So in the last paragraph, the second paragraph of a topic sentence was food insecurity and controlling idea was about the you know, planet. This is how you can write an effective essay. Um, I hope this would help. I'll see you in the next class uh, with the next tutorial.